North Carolina is in a position unique of all the states of having the potential resource of natural gas, shale gas, but having prohibited it before or preempted it by state law before exploration and development took place. Everywhere else, there is exploration, development, and production, and the opposition now wants to ban it. But you preempted that. There is a so-called almost a ban here before the resource has been proven, demonstrated, and made commercial. But you're in the process now of moving uh, toward repeal of that kind of prohibition. And if you do, uh, that brings the industry in. That's the most important. Assembly. But the opposition takes the view that there is no regulation. And I want to make a very strong point about that. When I heard this from the Sierra Club, I said, no, no, give me the microphone. I want to get in here. Because every state that has shale gas, conventional gas and oil, has regulation. The, usually in the West, they're called oil and gas uh, commissions, conservation commissions. They have full regulatory authority and full science and technical capability. And they are also in consensus with industry. They work with industry. And all these states have regulation. And it's not unregulated. And the states can imply enforcement. They can find violations. They can fine companies and set fracking rules, so-called hydrofracking rules of their own. But the denial that there's any regulation has served the opposition well. And if you look closely, what this means is simply the call on Washington to superimpose the EPA in the regulatory game. And North Carolina would be well advised to join all the other states and 9,000 geologists of the American Geologic Association which support state regulatory authority. 